Good morning folks and Happy New Year. It is the 1st of January 2021. Um, so let's start off the new year in the best possible way. Let's start off by reading God's word together and by sharing with each other. Um, we're in Proverbs chapter 3. We started yesterday. We read to verse 20. So we're going to read from verse 21 to the end this morning. So let's read this together. My child, don't lose sight of common sense and discernment. Hang on to them, for they will refresh your soul. They are like jewels on a necklace. They will keep you safe in your way and your feet will not stumble. You can go to bed without fear. You can lie down and sleep soundly. You will not be afraid of sudden disaster or the destruction that comes upon the wicked. For the Lord is your security. He will keep your foot from being caught in a trap. Do not withhold good from those who deserve it when it is in your power to help them. If you can help your neighbour now, don't say, come back tomorrow and I'll help you. Don't plot harm against your neighbour for those who live nearby trust you. Don't pick a fight without reason when nobody else has done you harm. Don't envy violent people or copy their ways. Such wicked people are detestable to the Lord, but he offers friendship to the godly. The Lord curses the house of the wicked, but he blesses the home of the upright. The Lord mocks the mockers, but is gracious to the humble. The wise inherit honour, but fools are put to shame. Amen. This part of Proverbs, we start to get into more the, 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 the comparison between um, right and wrong behaviour. Uh, and it's, it's just how Solomon writes and, and this is probably part of what people get confused about at times but he starts off with that by talking about a relationship with God and in verse 26 he says for the Lord is your security he will keep your foot from being caught in a trap and again Solomon underlines how we need to trust in God trust in his wisdom and his strength and, and live our lives the way he wants us to live. And he talks there then about caring for others, about not plotting harm against our neighbours, not picking fights, and don't envy violent people or copy their ways. He's talking about how we live our lives day to day. And again, then Proverbs starts to talk about daily living. And yes, it's going to be confusing. So yeah, it'll be a difficult passage to read, different book to read over these next um, few weeks but let's do it together anyway because it does start to teach us about living our lives for God you know in everything that we do we, we do it for a reason um, people go out to work because they want to earn money to be able to pay bills um, because you want to be able to buy food you want to be able to put the heat on in the house when it's cold to be able to buy clothes and keep a roof over your head there's there's a purpose to it and there's a purpose to why we should want to live our lives the way we do we should want our lives to be a reflection of the love which god has for us and that god has for others and, and being that practical way of showing is, is the best way of helping people to understand Look at what's been going on in the world around us. Um, look at how people have been working very hard in difficult circumstances to care for others. Why do they do it? Well, yes, you could say they, they do it because they're getting paid to. But a lot of the times you have people coming in and volunteering, doing extra shifts, not going home whenever they could go home, or altering how they work because they want to care for others. They want to show them that somebody, that they, that they matter and somebody cares for them. Think of the staff who have sat with people who, as they're passing, holding hands because they don't want them to be alone. They want them to feel that sense of connection, that sense of love. Look at those who have literally gone on and volunteered to help out in different circumstances because they want to help. Well, that should be us in everyday life as we want to live our lives for God. We should want to show others just how much God cares for them and loves them. So this, on the first day of 2021, 
a year which lots of people are saying like this will be a good year this will be a different year we've got a vaccine now we're gonna be able to move forward a lot of other things are going to happen this year there's going to be other disasters will come along there's going to be other problems other things will overtake us but no matter what happens let us be determined to show god's love let us be determined to to live our lives for god that through the ups and downs that will come this way and will come our way. Because they will. Don't think that this will be a plain sailing year. It will not. It will be full of ups and downs. But in the midst of that, let's resolve ourselves. Let's concentrate. Let's be determined that we will show God's love to others. That we will allow our actions to reflect that love so they may know that God loves them and cares for them and that God is always there for them. You know, I often, in times of difficulty for myself and for others, use Isaiah 41 verse 13. For I hold you by the right hand, I the Lord your God, and I say, do not be afraid for I am here to help you. If we can grasp that verse and grasp what it means for God to hold our right hands for this year, then we are in the strongest position because we know that we will not walk it alone, but rather God will walk with us. So during this year, may God bless you, care for you, hold on to you, and may you hold on to him. Let's pray together. Father, thank you again for this, the start of a new year. As we start into 2021, Lord, may it be a year whenever we we really do reach out to you, take hold of you and, and, and just allow you to lead us and to guide us. Lord, may it be a year whenever we allow ourselves to fall into your arms and be carried by you during those difficult times. And Lord, then those other times whenever we are strong and things are good with us, help us to help others. Help us to bring others to you so that they too can fall into your arms and know what it is to be carried by you, to be loved by you. Lord, just be with us now, we pray. In Christ's name. Amen. Thanks, folks, for joining with us this morning. Um, I'm not here tomorrow morning. And then on Sunday, we will be streaming from church at 11 o'clock. Please feel free to join us. Um, if you can't join us at 11 o'clock or if you're watching your, your own service at 11, that's fine. You, you can watch later on the day. Um, it'll stay up on Facebook and it'll go up then at some stage later on on YouTube as well. But um, whatever you do, may you know God's peace and God's blessing today and in the year that lies ahead. So take care, folks, and see you again on Monday for our readings. Bye.